Well, here it is, folks. The NBA playoffs and play-in is all set. So I'll give you my predictions on the play-in and then the first round of the playoffs. First with the Western Conference. It will be the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. And since uh, Rudy Gobert's not going to make the trip and he's suspended and a few of their players are hurt, I say the Lakers win that game easily. LeBron and AD and D'Lo and Austin Reeves are just too much for the Minnesota Wolves. I say that the Lakers win that in blowout fashion and take down the T-Wolves and win the seven seed. And in the Eastern Conference play-in in the 7-8 game, I see the Miami Heat taking down the Atlanta Hawks in that one in Miami. Of course, they're home, so... And Trey Young can't really do it by himself. And, of course, the Heat already got Tyler Hero, Udonis Haslam in his final year, and Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler. I say the Heat win that also in blowout fashion as well. And in the 9-10 uh, series between New Orleans and OKC, I, I say the Pelicans take down the Thunder pretty easily. Uh, Brandon Ingram is just too much for them, and Shy can't do it by himself, so the Pelicans win that 9-10 game. And out east, I say the Chicago Bulls take down the Toronto Raptors in that one because they got Andre Drummond, um, Alex Caruso, and um, Vukovic. Yeah, that Bulls team is loaded. So I say the Bulls take down the Raptors in the 9-10 game. And then finally out east, or for the uh, eighth seed, I have to say it's going to be the... Uh, um, the Eastern Conference, Western Conference. So in the for the for the for Game Three of the play-in, which is the eighth seed, um, the Minnesota Timberwolves will take down the New Orleans Pelicans in that one, though, because I think Rudy Gobert will be back for that one, and I, I think the the Wolves win the eighth game. Same thing for uh, the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls will take down the Atlanta Hawks in that game as well. And the Bulls are going to shock the world by taking down Atlanta. And here's my first round playoff predictions too. I say uh, first with the Western Conference. The Denver Nuggets with behind Jokic and Murray. They'll take down the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'd say in no more than five. Yeah. And then in the... Uh, for the uh, for the Lakers Memphis game, I'd say Lakers prevail in that series in six games. Lakers over the Grizzlies in six because Stephen Adams won't be available and John Morant can't really do it by himself. And same with uh, Jaron Jackson. So I'd say the Lakers take down the Grizz. And then in the Clippers Sun series, well without Paul George, Kawhi Leonard can't really do it by himself. And, of course, you got Zubach, you know, and Russell Westbrook is a turnover machine. And Phoenix, you know, they're loaded with Devin Booker, Chris Paul, and um, Kevin Durant, and DeAndre Ayton. I'd say the Suns take down the Clippers in five. Yeah, Suns in five in that one. And here we go. Northern California battle right here. Sacramento against uh, Golden State, the I-80 series, because Sacramento's only like, 90 miles from San Francisco, so it's about an hour and a half, two hour commute. So it's so it's it's driving distance basically. So I say the Kings take down the defending champion Warriors because the Warriors aren't really that good of a road team anyway. So I'd say the Kings win it in five or six over the Warriors because you got Harrison Barnes, Malik Monk, Darren Fox, and Sabonis. I, I'm pretty sure they could take down the Splash Brothers and Draymond and Poole. So I'd say uh, Kings and Six. And now we go to the East. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks will likely sweep the Bulls in Six because they got Giannis and Drew Holiday and Bobby Portis and Brooke Lopez. They're too much for the Bulls. So I'd say Bucks in Four or Five. And how about Miami and Boston? Well, against Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and 
Al Horford. I would love to see the Celtics go down in that one as well. So I'd say Miami and six in that one. And then finally, not, well, not yet, but the Sixers will take down Brooklyn in six. So because they got Joel Embiid, your potential MVP candidate, and, and uh, James Harden, you know, they're too much for Brooklyn. And finally, the Cavs against the Knicks. Well, you know, you got Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson in that one. So I say the Knicks take down the Cavs and Donovan Mitchell in six or seven. And yes, I would love to see the Knicks win. Well, there you have it, folks. That's how it is. So my picks are Lakers, Kings, Nuggets, and Suns coming out of the West. And of course, you got the Heat and the Bucks and the uh, Knicks and Sixers coming out of the East. So, all right. We'll have a great day. And I'll catch you later.